Hey guys, I got a very simple video that should be delicious. That's so easy to do. You can do it yourself, even if you have no experience whatsoever. Now it's a little bit rough today, so you gotta be extra careful when you come out here. But if you look along the rocks, you can see all of the mussels. And you may not have known, but that's exactly what they sell in the restaurants. And they're so easy to grab, you can get them yourself too. Now it should be common sense that there's a small size of mussel and there's a large size of mussel. And this right here, I consider a small size, something that you could eat, but it's very small. And the way to grab them, you have to grab them by hand. So it helps a lot of you have some gloves with you as you come out here. But here's three small mussels. I'm gonna grab these, put them in my bucket, and I'm gonna do a comparison between the small ones, the medium ones, and the extra large ones, see which ones taste the best. So I've got my scale here, and this is exactly 10 pounds. This is the bag limit for one person in California per day. Definitely enough to feed a family. Those are rocks too. Mussels are a lot lighter than that. Now if you look at the cluster of mussels, you can see that the small ones are on top and they get bigger as you go down. So when the tide is lower, you can come out here and get the big ones. When it's high tide, even these small ones will be covered and you won't be able to get them. Now if we look down here, we can see one extra large one. That's, you know, they get even bigger than this, but in my opinion, that's big. That's extra large size. So we're gonna only take one of these because this is basically the equivalent of four or five small ones. And since I'm here anyway, I'm gonna grab a couple medium sized ones and add those to the bucket as well. Now there's a very lengthy list of things that you should know when you come out here. Stuff like you don't want to pick mussels from the same rock or else all the mussels from that rock will be gone. You want to pick them in certain patches. Bunch of little things, but we're not going to get into that stuff today. Today we're just talking about how easy it is to cook mussels and how easy it is to get them. Now I'm going to get these mussels boiled and steamed in some fresh water. I don't want to use salt water or else the mussels are just going to be way too salty. So enough water to boil them or steam them is all you need got the huge one the big one the big mama that's going in two medium sized ones a slightly smaller than medium size and three babies so let's test them out and see which ones are the best I'm gonna cover this up so it keeps the heat in for all those mussels cooked this is the perfect time to talk about where to find the mussels now you could find them on any rocky coastline like this and the mussels will be found in the intertidal zone should be self-explanatory but you can see the top line where those mussels are over there on that rock that's the high tide line right below that where the mussels stop that's the low tide line so the mussels will be found in the intertidal zone in between those lines and that's the only place you'll find them you won't find them up high where the water doesn't touch and you won't find them below where the water always is Now it only takes about five to seven minutes for these mussels to cook and you know they're done when they're opened up like that. But one thing that's so, so, so important about coming out to get shellfish and mussels is that you got to make sure that they're in season. If they're not in season, you can get amniagic shellfish poisoning, lose your memory permanently. Maybe that's why I've been having such short term memory problems lately. What was I saying again? Oh. Anyway, you want to make sure that you go out during the certain times of months where it's colder and the water temperature is colder. Man, do I really have amniagic shellfish poisoning? And that's because these mussels are filter feeders. And when they filter in that algae, I don't know the whole process of why you're not supposed to eat them during certain months, but that's what it says. And always call the biotoxin hotline. That'll give you all the information you need along the west coast of California, whether it's safe or not to eat mussels, clams, or any other type of shellfish. Look at that, simple as that. Break apart so easy. And they're ready to eat. Now that the mussels are cooked, I am here to proudly announce the answer that mankind has asked for thousands of years, does size matter? Maybe womankind too. And I think I know the answer. Small one.
little salty, tastes like clams. Very edible, not that chewy. Overall, good experience. Medium sized clam. Overall, slightly stronger flavor, reminiscent of squid texture, comparable to the small one, but overall, decent. The extra large. A squishy, chewy, sandy mouthful. Overall experience, just a bad mouthful. So I think we have a clear winner here, and that is the small ones. The only problem with these big mussels is that they're so close to the ground sometimes that that's where they filter the sand. But a lot of the times, the smaller ones, ooh, I forgot to have more. The smaller ones like this are higher up on the rock, so the sand doesn't get up there. They don't get rocky. Mmm, that's actually quite sweet. That size is perfect right there. I like that. I could eat those. I could eat those. If I needed to, I could eat those. And these medium sized ones, you might have a little hair in it. Hair, little hair never hurt, but you could just pull it out. But you could see all the poop in there, right? You see the poop in there? I mean, poop, sand, whatever you call it, it's being filtered. And you could rip that off, and let's see if that makes this uh, enjoyable, more enjoyable experience. <laughs> Much better. Wow. Hey, medium and small size ones, rip off the poop sack. I don't know why I never thought of that before. Put them in some clam chowder. That's good. And that's how you get mussels. Super easy. Inner tidal zone. Don't slip on the rocks. Get the small ones. Don't get the big chunkers and you'll have a great time enjoying a meal full of mussels with all your friends and family. Happy New Year, everybody. It only takes about five or seven minutes for these mussels to be cooked. The small ones cook faster, of course. Ooh, that's hot. And the big ones take a little bit longer. But I'm gonna dump this water out and while it cools, Got to tell you something very, very important. Ow! Ooh! Don't pour boiling water on your leg, man!